Hi everyone, this is Aspa Mushtaq from the Double Vibes and in this video lecture we are going to learn how we can interface Peak 16 f 877 a microcontroller with an LED and in this uh, particular video I have just written a program for the LED blinking. So far in the previous lectures we tested for the development boards but right now we will start with an isolated Peak microcontroller which is 16F a and I will show you how I have actually connected this circuitry. Fine. So looking at that, this is the PIC 16F a a microcontroller. Okay. Its first pin, which is the master clear pin, is connected with the resistor R and 5 volts. Why? Because this is actually for the resetting the microcontroller and it is always active low but we don't want microcontroller to reset itself and suspend all the operations so that's why we provide a high logic just to deactivate this reset pin fine then you can see the 32 pin is actually the vdt pin which is connected with the 5 volt similarly 11 pin is also used for the vdt connection and here i have supplied 5 volts fine then another pin which is the 31 pin this pin should be grounded as well as the 12 pin which is the VSS they both are grounded right then we can see there are other connections pin number 13 and 14 pin fine so these pins are basically used for connecting the crystal oscillator PIC microcontroller provides many options to select a clock source almost all PIC microcontrollers also support the internal oscillator so that we don't have to connect an external oscillator but internal crystal oscillator usually supports the low operating frequency but if your embedded project requires high operating frequency you must use an external crystal oscillator so that's why for that we have two pins available pin number 13 and 14 where i'll connect a 16 megahertz crystal oscillator along the two capacitors of 33 picofarad fine so they will be providing the clock to the microcontroller for its operations fine now the last pin that is left to be discussed is the rd2 or the second pin where i have connected an led via resistor r the same circuitry i have actually connected on this breadboard right now so you can see this is the 21 pin of the peak microcontroller and the led is connected via resistor r similarly here is the reset connection and the crystal oscillator right now you can see i have not used the capacitors because that were not available otherwise it's preferable to use those capacitors fine and now i will just test it how it's working or blinking the led so I need to uh, provide the connections, fine. So here you can see the LED starts blinking as I connect it with the 5 volt power supply, fine. One thing more, uh, I, right now I have used uh, another burner uh, that is basically used for importing the code into the PIC microcontroller. So uh, we will test it or we can actually connect it like that so this is basically pick it three programmer or the debugger and you can interface it with it by keeping in mind that the first or this arrow head should be connected with the NCLR pin and then you can place the microcontroller on it you can lock it and then obviously you can import the code into the pick microcontroller thank you for watching